What's up guys? So uh, it's about 19 degrees out. I've uh, unfortunately been stuck inside all day working. Been working from home. Um, haven't had a chance to come outside, but we got snow uh, here the last day. Actually yesterday we got snow. We were told we were supposed to get anywhere from six to nine inches. I think we got about an inch, maybe. But anyways, it's cold, and I thought I'd come out and hang out with the dogs for a little bit. Um, they're not cold, apparently, because, as I've said in my previous videos, when it's cold, these guys are active, these guys are out. Betty was laying up in the front of the yard. She's got kind of her spot up here, up by the landscaping, so she'll sit up here. Some, and they've taken out these bushes. These bushes are coming out this year anyways. And uh, Bernard is hanging out in the back patio. And like I said, they don't get cold. Earlier I didn't catch any video, but they were out running around playing in the snow. So I thought I'd come out and join them before the sun goes down since I didn't get a chance to come out. Let me go check on... Go check on their... Uh, uh, their water and their food I think they're okay so for the water I've got this 50 gallon rubber made out here with a uh, um, water heater in there tank heater so water's not frozen filled it up the other day so we're good there and that with these two so it's funny because when there's snow on the ground they actually would just eat the snow. Um, there's that drift. But they do drink that water, of course. And their food. This is their shelter. So once again, they only came, they came in their shelter um, the other day when the snow was coming down. So when it gets really snowy, windy, or wet so when it's raining they'll come in their shelter but otherwise they don't really hang out in here it is nice and cozy though I will tell you um, it blocks the wind the north is that way so this whole wall is uh, is facing the north this is a south opening so there's no wind whatsoever that comes in through here I mean there's some gaps underneath the bottom there uh, which I can correct later but that's why the snow drifts are coming through but otherwise, they've got their straw in here, and right in this corner, it gets nice and cozy, nice and warm for them. But they just don't use it, so. No food. I think we're good. Yep. So these, uh, these Pet Lodge feeders, 250-pound ones, um, those will last them several weeks. Um, well, I say several weeks, more like two and a half, three weeks. And uh, in the winter months, um, they eat more than they do in the summer months. I know previously I've read that people had concerns about, uh, I guess just dogs in general overeating. I don't know, I never had concerns with that. Uh, even with dogs I've had in the past, but these guys, you know, the, the foods out here, they just eat as much as they want and there's no issue with, with them overeating whatsoever. And um, those feeders come in really handy because um, when we're out of town, um, it, it's just, it's just an automated way to, to, to allow these dogs to kind of take care of themselves really. And those things are nice because I've actually had them in the elements. Now they're in the shelter, but, uh, even when they're in the elements, uh, the rain actually stays out of that. So I'm actually quite impressed with these, uh, with these, um, feeders. And I just built this simple frame for it. But the shelter's good, feed, food's good, water's good. Maybe we'll, uh, let's take them out back. Maybe they'll go run around back here. So once again, I have this blocked off. I don't like them going out back here anymore without me supervising because they have that tendency to get a whiff of coyote presence. You guys ready? All right, let's go. Come on, you can go. I'll let you go. And it is cold outside. Get my gloves on. 
Okay, let's go. You're good. Come on. You can go. So here in Kansas City, some of you might get this if you're in the Midwest, but just earlier this week, uh, I believe it was in the 60s, we we're in early February now, Kansas City area, and uh, yeah, the Chiefs lost. But anyways, um, it was uh, 60 degrees here several days ago, now it's 19 degrees and we got snow on the ground. That's how it is in the Midwest. Those of you who know, know. I've been out here for like 12, 13 minutes and my nose is about to fall off. I got to bring my uh, face covering. So I'm getting ready to head back in but thought I'd come out and hang out with the dogs for a little bit, take them out back here. They still have not ran away. That last video I showed how the coyotes are still around. Um, they were just on the north end of our property there's two of them and that night i did have concerns about the dogs getting out because if those coyotes are around here the dogs know and that is the one reason they will get out is because they'll go after the coyotes but to my surprise they did not they're still here so right bernard here we go back let's go Betty, let's go See, Bernard likes to stick around. He likes to hang around me. Betty, not so much. I don't know how much I could rely on her if something would happen to me. Bernard, he's different. He's a good one. We like them both, though. Go get your sister. Go get your sister. Betty, let's go. And uh, I don't know if I'll ever do a video, I'll let my wife do it, but uh, I don't know if I'll ever do a video on the barn cat. We do have a barn cat. I'm not a fan of cats. The barn cat came with the, the property. <clears throat> uh, not intentionally, of course, I didn't know about it, but when we moved in, we discovered there was a cat living in the barn. And uh, I know some of you will say it's they're good to have around because they keep the mice away. Some cats will keep the mice away. I kind of feel like this one just likes to hang around and wait to be fed because I think that's what the previous owners did. Because the cat never leaves the barn. Here's the shelter. I said I wasn't going to do a video on it, but you see the cat's just hanging out in the shelter. There she is. Sorry, I had to wake you up. Make sure you didn't die in there. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, she's got, uh, the cat's got food and water and shelter inside the barn. Uh, no, she's not just hanging out in the cold. Uh, she's just always hanging out in here. Um, no, she's not afraid of the dogs. She just doesn't like to leave. She just uh, wants to be fed and pampered. And I, I don't know if that's how all cats are. I've just never have been a fan of cats. All right, you guys ready? You want your treats? Yeah, see, Bernard's ready. See, I only give him treats, or they he, they they know to sit down in order to get the treats. And notice how Bernard's already sitting down. Betty, yeah, it takes her a while. It takes her a while to figure it out. Ah, come on, Betty.
make sure you can do that. See how I just took that away from him? Cause he knows who's, nope. Down, yeah. Gotta make sure you can do that. Don't want aggressive dogs, especially when you have kids. And Betty knows also. She'll try to protect, but she knows. They won't snap. these dogs I shouldn't say these dogs but Betty and Bernard they get jealous of each other all the time I think all dogs do when one gets attention the other one doesn't this is what happens so if I sit here and pet Bernard watch what Betty does oh yeah she wants it too I pet Betty oh yeah watch what Bernard does oh yeah oh yeah that's all dogs that's not just Betty and Bernard but it is pretty funny Watching them fight over that attention. What? Oh yeah, you wish you can get a back rub too, Bernard? Yeah. Okay, watch, and then I'll give Bernard one and watch what Betty does. Oh yeah, she's like, no, that's supposed to be me. Oh yeah. She's like, no, that was supposed to be me. And then, let's see, Bernard's not as bad, but he still does it. Oh yeah, Betty's turn, and Bernard, yeah, he just ignores it, and yeah, Betty loves it, and watch this, and Bernard's turn, Betty's like, no, that's supposed to be me, what are you doing, yeah, oh yeah, she can't stand it, she's like, that's supposed to be me, you're running, okay, there's your daily dose of Betty and Bernard. Thanks for watching.